I've been a walking heartache I've made a mess of me The person that I've been lately Ain't who I want to be But you stay here right beside me And watch as the storm blows through And I need you Scott So, Chad, I'm going to suggest to you that when Alexis gets on your nerves, you're supposed to give her a pass. And you're not supposed to hold it against her. Can you do that? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> With everything that you are, because you were choosing him as your husband. And so you're going to give him a pass, too. I will. She will. Did you hear that? She will. It's recorded too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Chad Gunkelman.
this crowd, there's about 80% are real good friends of Chad's or more and hadn't known him all his life. But when you get some spare time, ask him how he got a boat stuck in the ocean. <laughs> well, that's a long story, but he'll tell you. I told Chad, I said, I'm not waiting um, two or three hours for you guys to get in here and eat. So uh, they were pretty punctual. We appreciate that. So. <laughs> In all seriousness, Alexis, you are a strong and amazing person. I'm so honored to be standing beside you as your matron of honor on the happiest days of your life. One instance, we had a little mowing business on the side, and uh, we were mowing, and Chad said, I gotta stop for a second, I gotta take a phone call. And uh, it was a phone call from the police department. They were offering him a job. And I'm sure he was pumped, but I was uh, right there with him. I, I couldn't have been happier for him in that time. Mm -hmm.